Hi guys, it's my pleasure to be with you all today. In these 13 syllables, I suppose everyone would have been able to judge my socioeconomic status and whether or not you'll be able to listen to me for the next 25 to 30 minutes. So my name is Janvi, and this is a session under the project I Create, presented by Swan Livelihood. And today I will be talking about various hardships that we face as a speaker and the roadmap to be a perfect public speaker. So let's get started. For the introduction, let me present some stats with you. So there was this survey that was conducted in the US where people were asked what scared them the most. And you'll be shocked to know the results. Death was in the second position. Why? Because first was public speaking. Isn't this ironic? But I think that we all have faced this um, fear once in our lives at least and i am no different from you when i was in my school you know we have these competitions where we go to zonals and district and state level competitions i used to audition for every speech elocution group debates gd everything however it was only 30 to 40 percent of times when i got selected to represent my school and there was not a single chance that I won. So I asked myself, where is it that I'm lacking? Is it my speaking? Is it my confidence? Is it the matter? And similar case was when I came to my college as well. But there I promised myself that I am trying to be a different version of myself. I'm trying to be someone that nobody knows because that is a new um, location altogether and there's really no person, no one that knows me. So there was no fear of losing at all. So I gave auditions to each and every society and I got selected in a few or got rejected in most. But what it did was it gave me the confidence. It gave me the idea of how we actually speak to people and how to say things that people actually want to hear. So this was my story. And I suppose this is the story of most of us all here. We have faced this one way or the other. The most difficult question that I and you have came across is probably to introduce yourself. When someone asks, tell me about yourself. That is the end. That question is a question which no one knows any answers to. And it scares me too. It, it's been so long, but it scares me still, Dave. So I can really understand the people who are not a very good speaker or who are stage right, that public speaking can be very dangerous game. But don't worry, I am here and I have the roadmap of how and what all you should be aware of in order to be a good public speaker. And once you know all these, I am sure that you will turn out to be a great public speaker. So let's get started. So first of all, the question comes, what is the pressure? Why am I scared to present in front of people? I can talk to my friends easily. I can sing in the bathroom easily. Why am I af afraid to perform in front of two people? So we have to understand one thing here. Um, sorry. Okay. So the pressure mainly comes from being the center of att uh, attention. We don't want anybody's attention. And once we are on the stage, everyone is looking at us. 
that feeling gives us anxiety the feeling of being judged the feeling of thinking about our past failures we compare ourselves to others we are nervous of being nervous we try too hard to perform that it shows and that leads to a psychological response that makes us sweat shiver makes our heart beat go beat drums and this is where we start messing up so how are we going to do deal with this pressure is the main question here so in order to deal with the pressure first we need to know what we are talking about so public speaking basically has four goals one is to inform but then is persuade entertain and commemorate so each one of us here have i guess have heard um, our prime minister's speech so when there was one speech when the covid had just started and he asked us to stay at home he informed us about the covid norm what should be done what should not be done that so the goal was to inform the, the crowd another example of um persuasion as your goal would be when make in india so when our prime minister again in his speech asked persuaded its people to learn skills and be a job provider rather than um, being a job seeker that was a session that included persuasion as a goal commemorate commemorate would be to applause uh, applaud anything that had been done in future or would be done in uh, was done in past or would be done in future so a session can be held for that as well or public speaking can be for entertainment for all the stand up comedy shows that we attend all the hosts that we see on television reality shows they are also a part of a public speaker um session so first you need to know what goal is it and according to that goal you need to move forward with the session once you know where you are going and what you want to achieve by the session you will have the confidence and you'll not feel lost now once we know what our goal is let's now talk about the road map to a successful delivery the very first thing that comes here is planning definitely we need to plan the road map again we need to know what we're going to talk about we have to plan how long is it going to be who are all are going to be there how would be the flow of the conversation would it be sarcastic first person second person third person everything and once we have that idea of how we are going to go ahead with the session we prepare now once we prepare we work on what we are going to speak and how we are going to present and once we have prepared for everything even the worst case scenarios with plan a plan b and even plan c for that matter what we do is deliver we go on stage and deliver now when i talk about delivery this isn't the only thing that's important because you know anyone can speak so that's not a question here but making people listen is what is important so when we speak we need to make sure that we engage our audience so that they don't get bored so that they listen to what you're trying to cater to and what information are you going to provide and after 
all these steps are covered, you conclude. So concluding is really important in any public speaking session that you attend or you cater to. Because the conclusion is basically a gist of all the details that you have covered in that session and includes the detail that you want the other people to take home with them. So this is basically a map, a blueprint that you should follow while preparing for a session. Now we've talked about the pressure, the individual pressure that we face while delivering. And we've talked about how to pre uh, prepare for the session. Now let's bring these two together and talk about how actually are we going to club the pressure and the delivery. So before you go on stage or live or any session, make sure you breathe. Because sometimes when we are not confident or we are nervous, we forget to breathe. As funny as it sounds, it is true. So there, even if you feel like you're going to mess up or it's not going in the direction that, that you want it to go, just take some time and breathe. Sometimes awkward pauses can be very awkward and the audience trust me audience will know that you're trying too hard so how do you take pause breathe without your audience knowing so when you are in between your conversation you can take a hold you can have some water breathe and then start but just make sure that it's not too long look relaxed you know, we talk about fake it till you make it. It's an amazing formula. However, it's a dangerous one. So you need to know how much you have to fake it in order to make it. So you have to look relaxed. Shoulders should be relaxed. Your body language should be calm. Your voice should not be modulating a lot because sometimes you can hear the shivers in your sound make sure that your hands are poised because sometimes you might shiver so in order to stop that don't do this keep your hands in a relaxed position and breathe relax before going to the stage take deep breaths probably um, stretch a bit drink enough water but just not too much um, mind your pronunciations even though everyone says that knowing not knowing english is okay and yes it's true however you should know what you're talking about because sometimes if you don't know grammar or if you don't know the language in which you're talking it can be very disastrous so you should know the language, at least the basics of it, of what that you're um, presenting in. And make sure to mind the pronunciations, because if you don't know how to talk, people are not going to listen, even though no matter how smart you are. Be confident, even if you're not. As I said, fake it till you make it. Be confident, look confident. And one very good way of looking confident is to wear comfortable yet elegant clothes. Once you are con comfortable in what you're wearing, then is when you will think about being confident in the surroundings that you are in. Experiment. So once you're in between your session, experiment. Try to be funny, try to give examples, try to talk fast, talk slowly, engage and know what suits you and the audience the best. What is um, getting most of your audience's attention and helping you deliver the best. 
last point but this is really the most important don't read because when you read it's not speaking i mean it's not public speaking you're just reading and everyone can do that we don't need a public speaker to just read so that we can listen we need someone to say some stuff that we are interested to listen even if we don't want to so don't read even if you are not very well versed of what you what you're talking about read the pointers if necessary read the stats if necessary but know where you're going because if if you don't know what you're presenting it makes no sense to hold a session and apart from this there are a few more things like take care of your personality because you don't want to be presented as rude you don't want to be presented as conservative you want to be presented as open and you should mind your body language because body language is really necessary as i mentioned the audience knows of how you are feeling and whether you are capable or not to be presenting in front of the whole audience use a simple language because if you use too many technical jargons people are not going to understand because they might be 10 or 12 years old they might be too old they might or might not be from some technical background you never know to so use a simple language that's understand understandable to all make eye contact so if i'm talking to you like this and i'm uh, giving a presentation without making an eye contact it really destroys the presentation because if you are not making an eye contact it means that you are somewhere underconfident you don't know what you're talking about you're not confident in what you're talking about so make sure that if you're listening to someone or you're speaking to someone make sure to have an eye con um, eye contact and lean your body forward a bit so that they know that you are interested as well take pauses because if you keep going like this and without any pause you just speak and speak and speak it's very monotonous you need pauses to emphasize on some points you need pause to let the audience process what you're talking about because no matter how simple the conversation might be they still need to process what's been going on for the last few minutes and now that i talked about uh, talked about conversation hold a conversation don't give a lecture even though this is a one way communication but still you need to sound like you're holding a conversation because if you're just speaking and speaking and speaking without being considerate of the party that's sitting beside on the other side of the screen there's no use because they are will not be interested we are gen z and we are not interested to listening uh to anyone speak we are interested in listening to people who want or are holding a conversation so of all the ted talks i've heard of all the videos i've seen some of the great speakers that i found interesting were sundar pichai steve jobs um arvind krishna when you will listen to their videos or when they are giving presentation or they are holding a session and they are speaking you know how calm and relaxed they are how they know what their audience would be thinking without even them asking questions and they emphasize on the words that they want to discuss or want the audience to pay attention to these are a few things that you need to keep in mind um when you are holding a session 
and when you are or before you are giving the um, presentation. Now, as we move towards the end of this session, let's talk about a quote. So, as Roger Love says, all speaking is public speaking, whether it's to one person or a thousand. So no matter how many people you're talking to, it's just public speaking. So my point here is we should always have a buddy who will listen to us. If you don't have a person, be your own buddy. Record yourself. Speak in front of the mirror. Or if you have a friend, if you're lucky enough, speak to them, hold a conversation, read to them, and ask them where are the areas that you lack and that where you need to work on, and work on them. Public speaking does not come overnight. You have to work on it. It might take a week, a month, a year, or several years. But it's not that quick. So um, you need to know what is that one thing that helps you increase your confidence and that helps you to um, better your speaking skills. For me, it was listening to English songs and reading subtitles out loud. For me, for you, it could be reading newspapers, articles or just speaking whatever you want to in English. So just know that what is that one thing that helps you the most? And as Nike says, just do it. Thank you so much for being a part of today's session. And I will meet you guys all next week, same time, same place. And I will definitely try to um, come file all the important topics that revolve around public speaking so that you all can be a better speaker in future. So with this, I end today's session and thank you so much guys for joining in.